All right, so let's take a look at um, generic classes again. Um, one of the things is generic classes can have more than one parameter. So what do I mean by that? Well, for example, let's drop our diamond operator here and say we want it to have two generics. And what this class does by its name is it pairs two different reference types. All right, so let's create two um, objects of the type or two uh, variables of the type first and second. N notice that they are private here. All right, let's create our constructor. And so public pair. first argument and our second argument. And first equals first arg. So we're going to do our getters and setters here. So let me go ahead and copy those from, uh, let's see, our point class here. So let's grab this, and then we'll edit that. Or you can just pause it, or play, fast forward and then pause it and then type it out. So what I want to do is get first. So here's our um, uh, our setter, but we can just here we'll do get first here, and we're going to return first. And actually, let me just pause it, and then I'll let, I'll jump back in, but not waste time. Now I'm not going to add the setters because we're just going to call this from our play function. So I just created two a get first and a second just to keep the code lean. So inside of here, let's go ahead and create a um, string that holds the a person's name and then an ID number, like their employee number. So here we are back in main. And I'm going to make a new reference of ID number. So now we have this variable ID number, and it's a reference type of an integer, and it's storing, and we're passing through at 475, okay? Um, and then let's create a string. So string name equals Alex. Now we want to use a object. We're going to create a pair object and um, called my pair that's going to pass that in. It's going to pass in an integer and a string into that class. And the way you do that is you def use the class name, pair. And the first parameter is integer. And the second one is string. And then what I do is I just name it my pair equals new pair. And there's our diamond operator. And then whatever we're passing in, which is our ID number and our name. So ID number is getting passed in. And name is being passed in. Now if we want to display that on the screen, we'll do our sys out. And then ID number. And then my pair. get first. Now what's happening here is when we're doing that, when we're calling that get first function, we're returning whatever is being stored into first. And remember, we're passing into first um, 
our we're passing into first our ID number, right? And then what we're passing into second is the name. So if I copy all of this and just do name. I get second. When I run this, you'll see the ID number is 475, which is what we passed in here. And then Alex is what we passed in here to that constructor.